Jesus, would you come in here for a minute? Yes, Father. Did I interrupt you? What were you doing? I was water walking. Oh, you and that water walking. <laughs> you asked me in? Yes, I was looking at membership figures here in heaven. They're way down. So now I have to put up with Lucifer bragging about how he gets more souls in hell than I do in heaven. I can't stand when he does that. So how do I fit in? I need you to do me a small favor. It will only take 30 years or so. Yes? I want you to go to Earth and teach my creations how to live a sin-free life. That's it? Sounds easy enough. Well, there's a little more to it than that, my son. Like what? Well, it's like this. You go down there, have some carefree years as a child, work as a humble carpenter. Uh, Do I get a fine wife? Um, no. Or maybe I'll hook you up with Mary Magdalene. I haven't finished all the details yet. So, what's the downside? Well, once you start teaching people how to behave, my chosen people get very upset. Uh, they resent you muscling in on their territory. You mean the Jews? Yes, my chosen people. How did you choose them again? You remember, I put all the races' names into a hat and drew one out. Oh, right, right, right. So the Jews resent me, and then what? They drive me out of the village? Uh, it's a tad more involved than that. They actually go to the Romans and complain about you. The Romans will arrest you, uh, torture you for three days, and then nail your living body to a cross until your heart bursts in your chest, and then you die. Then you can come on back up here. You'll be finished. B -b -b back up. What? Tortured? Beaten? Nailed to a cross? I need you to do this. Why? To absorb all their sins. Whose sins? All of humanity's. How is that supposed to work? Whenever humans sin, no matter what it is, murder, thievery, arson, possession of a controlled substance, all they have to do is accept you into their heart and I shall forgive them. Then they won't go to hell and I won't have to listen to that blowhard Lucifer's bragging. It's win-win. Father, I think you've been smoking crack. Oh, come on now, Jesus. Be a good lad and do your father this one teensy favor. Well, then, why me? Why don't you do it? I have a universe to run. Hello? I shall be with you. In spirit. You shall owe me big time. Big time for this one. Oh, you shall be remembered. Big mentions. A whole bunch of them will have your name on their lips every single day. And I have ideas for merchandising. I picture a golden cross they can wear on a chain. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad I don't get beheaded. Then they'd have to wear a golden guillotine. A guillotine? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you are one funny son. Yeah, thanks a lot, Dad. You're pretty crazy yourself.